Hello Dave is brought to you ad-free by my supporters on Patreon. Become a Patreon yourself and get your name listed as a supporter at the end of every video by following the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Dave with Down to Earth Astronomy. It's Monday so let's have a look at what's been going on in the world of Elite and also a bit of uh, what's been going on outside of the game. Um, but there's actually not that much to talk about from Elite this week. I... I haven't been reading up on uh, the last couple of days if there's been any um, any news posted, so I am a little bit uh, a little behind, but I'll come back to that in a bit. Um, but um, at least I think the most noticeable thing is it still seems like the beta for 3.3 is just around the corner. It seems like that at least it, this 2.2 update is going to be a very short one before 2.3 comes out. Um, at least until we begin to get uh, a taste of the content. I mean, uh, of course, we would expect when the beta comes out, hopefully it's... I hope they're not going to do a back-to-back -back as they've done before, where they launch the beta and then that runs for a week or two, and then they close the beta and then the next update drops right after. Um, I hope there's going to be some time, of course, where they would actually take some feedback from the um, from the beta that implemented and maybe do a second beta even, I don't know. Um, but at least I hope that we're going to hear something about that. They did kind of hint that they would reveal something within a couple of weeks but i don't know what what couple in within a few weeks i think as it, i think uh, the formulation was but well what is a few weeks um but anyway we're still keeping an eye out for that and if there's been some news posted the last couple of days that i've missed of course feel free to post them in the comment section so uh, so we can share them with the rest of the community but there has been some rather interesting news coming out of spacex this week um, so SpaceX has been planning to, in 2023, to launch their um, BFR rocket um, to uh, to the moon as a free return. Um, yeah, they're still, they'll send the BFR, the, I think the official name for it is um, the Big Falcon rocket, but everybody calls it the Big Fucking Rocket. So, it, uh, yeah, anyway. They have a rocket, they're planning to send it on a free return to the moon. Um, and a free return was a is a style of mission that was used uh, widely used at the beginning of the Apollo program because it you make all your burns while you are in orbit around the Earth. And that means you don't have to do any burns out close to the moon. And the reason why you often do this when you are um, at some of the first missions with a new... Um, a new type of, um, of spacecraft that maybe haven't had that like extended um, mission history to, to prove itself worthy. You would often try to do these free returns because it basically means you you would launch the rocket, you would do a and after you launch it, you do a burn to circleize your orbit and get into a, a, what is known as a pocket orbit. Orbit. Then once you've been been orbiting there for a bit and you're ready to uh, to go for for the moon, you while you are in orbit. Um, you do your uh, translunar burn or trans translunar injection, which is just the burn you do. And again, if you have an engine malfunction, it won't restart, for instance. Then, well, then you're in orbit around Earth. It's not the worst place you could be. Um, but once you make that burn, you don't turn on your main engines before you make your um, your break, just before you hit the atmosphere again. From that point on, you will coast out to the moon, and you use the moon gravity to slingshot you back towards um, towards the Earth. And if you made it uh, accurately enough, you will then uh, hit the atmosphere. You would probably have to do some minor maneuvers um, while flying to and from the moon to make sure you get that um, um, to get that slingshot just right. Um, but you could do that with maneuvering thrusters. It's very little delta V needed for these um, minor corrections. So you don't need to fire up your main engines to uh, do something like that. So the reason, again, is you can see why these free returns are so popular because, well, you get back without firing your main engine, so even uh, so, there's no chance of a of a sudden engine malfunction at the um, when you're at the wrong side of the, the back side of the moon and you're not uh, able to be in radio contact with Earth. Okay, but the reason that's not really there's nothing new in that. Uh, that's just SpaceX doing whatever SpaceX are doing. The interesting part is that they put up some seats on the um, on the on the flight for sale. Where everybody could, if well, everybody, everybody with enough uh, money and deep enough pockets could buy themselves a seat. Um, along comes a guy called 
uh, Yusaku Masanba. I am probably mispronouncing that. He's um, he owns a um, I think it's a, a like a, 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 a clothes retailing brand. Or he, or he yeah he he does something with with the well, I think the, his firm that that designs clothes and it's well obviously pretty um, uh, pretty successful. And uh, this guy comes along and he buys every single seat on the rocket all of them <laughs> um i don't think the exact price has been disclosed but it is not cheap <laughs> but anyway so this guy he buys all the seats on the rocket i think there are six or eight of them and what he wants to do is he's a, he's a big admirer of arts so he wants to to now reach out to artists that he um admire and he wants to invite them on a trip to the moon. And there's some sense in what he's doing here, because the reason he's doing this is because, I mean, making um, very, very high quality video of, of the moon and recordings of it and measuring, like, uh, uh, all that stuff is, is, is easy. I mean, we got that covered. But what is difficult to relay is the how does it feel to be in orbit around the moon? How does it feel to be weightless? And that's why he wants to invite um, artists along. People, it can be writers, it can be songwriters, it can be painters. I don't know exactly what, what type of artist he wants to, to invite. But he, he's, I think the, the reason why he's doing that, as I, as I understand it, is that they are have an easier way to convey the feeling of being in orbit around the moon. And that's why he wants those type of people to... Um, um, to join the mission and um, there's a little bit of a funny uh, thing going on with this um, for those of you who have read um, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and I'm not referring to the movie I'm re referring to the book if I say Golgo Frinchen and the Ark ships you probably know what I'm getting to here but in the book The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy they at some point they encounter um, the Golgo Frinchen Ark ship no, sorry, Ark Fleet Ship B, and this is a ship from the uh, from the planet Golgo Frinchen, which um, was uh, supposed to be destroyed. Um, various uh, stories about how has been circulating. Some say it will be uh, uh, eaten by like some massive space animal. Some say it will fly into the local star and burn up. Um, but the story, the conclusion of all the stories, pretty much the same. Planet is doomed. Let's get the hell out of here. So they've designed these huge, massive arc ships, and the one they've landed on has all the. They're gonna have three of them. Like one, um, the A one should have all the, like, uh, like the country leaders and decision makers and all those uh, high-ranking people. Then you're gonna have the, the the fleet ship B, and and from the list in the book, that ship should contain uh, telephone sanitizers, account executives, hairdressers, tired TV producers, insurance salesmen, security guards, public relation executives, and management consultants. <laughs> and then the C, the, the third one, should then have all the um, like the engineers and the um, all the craftsmen and and those uh, type of people. And it's it then later on revealed that what is really happening here is that people were just getting tired of, of all the telephone sanitizers and account executives. So they just made up this story about the planet being supposedly doomed. So they built this ship and sent them from somewhere far away so they didn't have to bother with them anymore. And now people are, of course, making jokes that, that SpaceX is now apparently going to send a rocket to the moon full of artists. Um because of that Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference, and and yeah, I I, I can see I can see the joke in that. And uh, anyway, I just thought both because the, the I think it's interesting that one guy just grew up and buy a receipt, and then the reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I thought that was funny. That's why I decided to include it. But anyway, um, <laughs> let's let's move on. I for the last couple of um, of Hello Dave's, I have been doing various shout outs for some of the frankly pretty large amount of communities that are around Elite. And so I thought I would do um, one again today, um, mainly because they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a, a shout out. And I've actually been on that Discord server for, for quite a while. Um, it's a, a HOTUS community. I can't actually remember what they are. Let's just probably look that up firsthand. Um, 
The Discord is just called uh, Hotas or Hosas if you fly with double stick and Simpet. So it's it's a community not dedicated to elite, but dedicated to flight sims and then of course also elite. Every game that uses a joystick and a throttle or can use a joystick and a throttle. Um, and it's a quite interesting place because if you have any questions, any questions about how to use a Hotas, what Hotas you should buy. That's the place. There are some very knowledgeable guys over there about that. And what I think is quite interesting is that a lot of the um, manufacturers is also there. So you have a chance to maybe interact directly with the guys actually producing it. So maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I haven't been talking that much to the, to the manufacturers over there, but at least if you have any questions regarding uh, what kind of hotels or, or anything like that, I'm pretty sure that uh, there's going to be someone over there who can uh, who can help you. Um, I'll see if I can get a hold of a invite link so I can post that in um, uh, in the description. So yeah, if you want to get a little bit broader view of what exists other than the offerings from uh, Logitech or Thrustmaster, then that's definitely the place because there's a lot of uh, very very high quality um, um, options out there. That's not just from those two major um, major brands. Um, yes, next up uh, on my list here, oh yeah, Terra X. Um, as many of you will probably know, um, the community around the channel, we have a player faction in the game. I haven't been mentioning Terra X for quite a while. I haven't been doing any, um, any live streams with it for quite a while. It was after the 2.3 update, I think, that, that I think began to roll out. Then that suddenly got very, very, got very, very busy with that. But it has still been going, it's still going strong and still following some, uh, um, following the plan that, uh, yeah, nice and steady moving on and the planning team is doing an, uh, an awesome job of, um, of keeping it up and keeping the daily orders coming. So, um, but I just thought I'd mention that, of course, Terra X is still going strong and uh, if you're interested and, uh, and want to join the fun, then link for the, the channel's community Discord server where everything is handled. Just go down and find the check, uh, text chats. Um, that revolves around Terra X, and uh, in there you can find uh, daily orders and uh, also lots of people who can get help you get going if you want to try and get into some um, some BGS stuff. And then of course talking about um, live streams, I will of course as usual have my time uh, my live stream tomorrow at seven o'clock in game time. Um, exactly what I'm going to st to do on the stream, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I was, uh, it's, it's going to be leaked at least, and um, I was considering um, to actually go uh, take out the, the cube comet because that thing has been sitting in Shinrata uh, collecting dust for quite a while and has actually made some small changes to it lately. Um, it's It's got a little bit of an overhaul, um, not enough that I'm going to do a dedicated video on it. I might do that when we head into um, to the Q4 update if there's going to be some, some changes to it again. Um, but there's been some minor changes to it here and there to increase the shield and increase the jump rates a little bit. But I was thinking of taking that out, and especially if we could do something that would uh, would also help Terex, then uh, then of course, yeah. So I'll see what I come up with. Um, but at least tomorrow is going to be the elite live stream on the usual time spot. I did mention last week that I was uh, planning to do some No Man's Sky live streams um, in the uh, this week, and that obviously didn't happen. Um, Mainly because I have been a little bit behind on, re on recording. I've so far been able to, to, to keep it going, but I normally always have at least a week's worth of content, like finished, pre-uploaded, and just ready to, uh, to, be, uh, to be published whenever um, the time slot uh, arises. But this week, it's, it's been lagging. There's been points where I have absolutely nothing re uh, uploaded. So, so I've, been, uh, I've been trying to catch up, and um, I'm now back. To uh, to the usual uh, usual schedule, having a one week of uh, of content uh, pre uploaded ready to go. So hopefully now I should get a little bit more um, more time on my hands. We can begin to get back into um, into No Man's Sky and, uh, and continue that. Um, but I uh, I mentioned at the start that um, I would quickly mention why I've been uh, been a little bit busy this week, and uh, it's mainly because I've been celebrating my uh, 29 years birthday. So uh, that, of course, have taken up um, um, some of my, my evenings, been, been out uh, uh, eating dinner and have uh, family over here in the weekend. And I just want to show you what I got <laughs> in, uh, as a birthday present. I have it over here. And this is one of the reasons why I, um, 
why I have I have been uh, I have been busy this uh, this week. We just got the screen up here so you can see. There we go. Why I've been been busy this week because I've been building this. Uh, <laughs> it's the can I, can I even fit it in the screen? No, I can't. Or can I? Maybe. Almost. There. There. Now it's in the screen. Okay. <laughs> it's the. Um, as you can probably guess, or could probably see, it's the Lego uh, Saturn V model. Uh, it's <laughs> quite big. But I've been, uh, that's what I've been doing over the weekend. I've been, uh, been building that. Ah, there we go. Put that back there on the floor. Um, took me, I think, three, four hours to build. So <laughs> quite a fun little build. Now I have to figure out where to put it. But um, yeah, never too old to play with Lego, I guess. But anyway... Um, I hope to see you guys on the live stream tomorrow. I hope to, uh, to see you on Discord. And yeah, if you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.